Have you ever imagined being in two places at the same time? Sounds impossible, right? But in the quantum world, it's a reality. Welcome to the intriguing universe of quantum mechanics, where the rules of classical physics take a back seat. Today, we're about to explore a peculiar phenomenon known as quantum superposition. This strange concept allows tiny particles to exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. Imagine a coin spinning mid-air, its both heads and tails at the same time, until it lands. That's superposition for you. In the next few minutes, we'll delve into the core of superposition, its visualizations and its applications. We'll also debunk some common misconceptions and end with a famous thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat. So are you ready to challenge your understanding of reality? Hold on to your seats as we dive into the fascinating world of quantum superposition. So what exactly is superposition? In simple terms, it's the ability of quantum particles to exist in multiple states at once. Now let's break it down a bit. Superposition isn't like anything we experience in our everyday lives. It's a concept that's unique to the quantum world. To help you understand, let's imagine a light switch. In our everyday world, the switch can be either on or off. There's no in-between. This is classical physics at work. Now let's step into the quantum realm. Here, our light switch can be both on and off at the same time. I know it sounds strange, but that's superposition for you. This is because in the quantum world, particles can exist in multiple states at once. It's only when we measure or observe them that they choose a particular state. You might ask, why don't we see this in our daily lives? Well, that's because superposition is incredibly fragile. Any interaction with the environment causes a quantum system to lose its superposition and settle into one state or the other. This effect is known as decoherence, and it's why quantum phenomena like superposition are typically observed only at microscopic scales. But why does superposition matter? Well, it's the heart of the weird and wonderful world of quantum mechanics. It underpins phenomena like quantum interference and entanglement, and it's crucial for technologies such as quantum computing. To put it in perspective, imagine being able to be in multiple places at once. You could be having dinner at home, going for a run, and watching a movie all at the same time. That's the power of superposition, but for particles. So in essence, superposition allows particles to be in multiple states at once until we measure them. But remember, this isn't about multiple realities or large objects being in two places at once. It's a uniquely quantum effect, a fundamental part of the universe's rulebook that we're only just beginning to understand. And it's this understanding that could revolutionize our world in ways we can't even imagine yet. Now, how can we picture this bizarre concept, you ask? Well, let's dive in. Imagine you're flipping a coin. As it spins in the air, it's neither heads nor tails, but in a way it's both at the same time. This is a simple analogy for superposition. The coin, like a quantum particle, exists in all possible states until it's observed or measured. When it lands, it chooses heads or tails, much like a particle chooses its state upon measurement. Another way to visualize superposition is by thinking about light. Picture a light wave passing through two slits. Instead of just going through one slit or the other, the light wave goes through both simultaneously, creating an interference pattern on the other side. This is because the light wave exists in all possible states or superpositions at once. You can also think of superposition as a game of hide and seek. Consider a room full of boxes. If a particle is hiding in the room, Classical physics would tell us that the particle is in one specific box. But quantum mechanics tells us something different. Until we check, the particle is not merely in one box, but in a superposition of states. In a sense, it's in all the boxes at once. Only when we lift the lid of a box, observe or measure, does the particle choose its location. These visualizations, while not perfect, give us a way to wrap our minds around the concept of superposition. They help us bridge the gap between the classical world we're familiar with and the quantum world that seems so strange and counterintuitive. Remember, these are just models, not exact representations of reality. Quantum mechanics operates on a scale that our everyday intuition can't easily grasp. As physicist Richard Feynman famously said, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. 
These visualizations help us grasp the concept, even though our brains are wired for the classical world. Here's a famous thought experiment that stumped even the greatest minds. Schrodinger's cat. Imagine you have a cat, a flask of poison, a radioactive source, and a Geiger counter inside a sealed box. The radioactive source has a 50-50 chance of decaying within an hour. If it decays, it triggers the Geiger counter, which then shatters the flask, releasing the poison and killing the cat. If it doesn't decay, the cat stays alive. Now, what's the state of the cat before you open the box? In everyday life, we'd say the cat is either dead or alive. But in quantum mechanics, things are a bit more complicated. According to superposition, the cat is both dead and alive until we open the box and observe it. Only at the point of observation does the cat collapse into one of the two possible states, dead or alive. Now before you start feeling sorry for the cat, remember this is just a thought experiment. No cats were harmed in the making of this theory. Schrodinger himself came up with this scenario to highlight the absurdity of applying quantum mechanics to everyday objects. This thought experiment is a vivid illustration of superposition, showing how something can be in multiple states at once until observed. However, it also brings forth a paradox. How can something be in two contradictory states at the same time? In the quantum world, particles can be in multiple places or have different speeds simultaneously. But when we try to apply this concept to the macroscopic world, like our cat, it seems absurd. In the end, Schrodinger's cat isn't just about a cat in a box. It's a metaphor for the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. So, does superposition have any practical uses? And what are the common misconceptions? Let's dive in. Superposition isn't just a quirky concept confined to the theoretical realm. It's the bedrock for many modern technologies. Take quantum computers, for instance. Unlike traditional computers that use bits as their smallest unit of information, quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can exist in a state of superposition. This allows them to process a vast amount of information simultaneously, making them exponentially more powerful. Then there's the laser, a device we see in everyday life. Lasers work on the principle of stimulated emission, which is essentially a superposition of atomic energy states. And let's not forget magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. The technology behind this life-saving diagnostic tool relies on the superposition of nuclear spin states. But as we delve into the real-world applications of superposition, it's vital we clear up some misconceptions. One common misunderstanding is that superposition implies the existence of multiple realities. But that's not the case. Superposition describes the probabilistic nature of a particle's state before measurement. Another misconception is the idea that superposition applies to macroscopic objects like cats or cars. In reality, superposition is primarily observed in the microscopic realm. Quantum superposition is a delicate state, easily disrupted by interactions with the environment, a phenomenon known as decoherence. This is why we don't see everyday objects existing in multiple states at once. So, in essence, superposition, while seemingly abstract and counterintuitive, is a fundamental aspect of the quantum world that has far-reaching implications in our daily lives. It's a testament to the fact that even the most bizarre scientific theories can have practical applications. Superposition, while strange, is a cornerstone of our modern world. Intrigued by the paradoxical world of quantum mechanics? Today, we've just scratched the surface of the iceberg called superposition. We've learned how it defies our everyday logic by allowing particles to exist in multiple states at once until observed. We've delved into the famous thought experiment of Schrodinger's cat and talked about how superposition isn't about multiple realities or large-scale objects, but rather about the probabilities of particle states. If this has sparked your curiosity, there's a universe of knowledge waiting for you. Books like Quantum Mechanics, The Theoretical Minimum by Leonard Susskind and Art Friedman or Quantum A Guide for the Perplexed by Jim Al-Khalili are fantastic starting points. Websites like Quantum Spot Academy or channels like this one can also be a treasure trove of information. Keep questioning, keep exploring and remember, 
The quantum world is much stranger than we can imagine.